So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. Today I am doing a review on the Star Wars Rogue One K2SO. Uh, K2SO ended up being one of the more popular characters in the Rogue One movie. And uh, so getting able to get my hands on an action figure is just awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look. First off, let's take a look at the packaging here. We have uh, our star, what we've grown to come accustomed to with the Star Wars uh, Force Awakens packaging, except we have this time our, uh, I believe they're called Death Troopers. So, right here in the corner, over here we have some beautiful artwork of the action figure inside of K2SO. And of course, right here in the blister, we have K2SO with accessory. Uh, I'm going to point out now that I have the accessory, I can't find it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the back real quick. Now, I'm going to say right here we have a little bio up here for K2SO. And uh, then we have a little feature uh, for the Rogue One figures where you can uh, upload a Star Wars app and you can have, film little like battle scenes with the uh, toys. Um, I am upset at the fact that the packaging does not show off any of the other figures in the line. I actually had to go online and look for a list of the figures in the Rogue One line. So, kind of disappointing. However, like the rest though, and I pointed this out, it has some awesome artwork here. So... All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the action figure inside. And here he is, K2SO. Um, of course, he was voiced by Alan Tyduck, Wash from Firefly. So, again, adding to the, just, that just added to my excitement and him being my favorite character in the movie. Uh, let's go ahead and go over uh, sculpt paint and paint job real quick here. I love the paint job on this guy, as you can see. It has a nice, um, it's like a almost gunmetal black to this guy, and the details are amazing. You can see this little panel here. It actually has some paint. You've got some of the uh, buttons right here, or little flashy lights that he has on them. Go down the waist. You can see his gears. He's got little high uh, hydraulics here painted. Um, and it looks like even it might have some little battle damage. Like I've seen some battle. So, and it goes, and again, it just goes all the way down, these details, look. He's got some uh, paint wear from being, you know, in battle, which goes under the other knee as well, his wrists, his elbow joint, and of course we have the insignia, that he's uh, was an Imperial droid, right there on his shoulder. Both of them, actually. Uh, it goes down to his feet, I mean, this looks amazing. And it continues on to the back, too. Not as much detail on the back. I would have liked some more detail maybe here. Uh, but you can tell on the shoulders, it's got nice orange, bright orange around there. And the back's pretty just basic. So, uh, let's go ahead and go over articulation on this guy. Now, this being a Rogue One figure, uh, it's going to be very similar to those... Uh, other Rogue One figures and, of course, the Force Awakened figures. Not going to have many articulation, but you know what? I like that in these Star Wars figures because it's very reminiscent of the vintage Star Wars line. First off, something a little different with this, this figure. Uh, his head will move from right to left. However, you can tell his head moves up and down. His neck moves up and down. So this one has a little bit more articulation than others. Um, I love that about this guy. 
In fact, I didn't even know his neck moved. I'm going to be honest, this is the first time moving his neck. So that was a nice little surprise on my part. Um, his arms, uh, they don't go out very much. This one kind of a little bit, I don't think they're meant to. They do just kind of meant to be moved up and down. His legs, however, do go apart a bit. And they're almost on like a ball joint. So you can even swivel them a little bit. But they are just meant to go kind of up and down a bit. So, I'm really liking the fact that that neck is on a ball joint, too. That was a nice surprise. I did not know that. In fact, I'll do it again here. His head, also on a ball joint. So, yeah, that was kind of cool. Camera right. Now, as I pointed out, K2SO does come with an accessory. Um, I didn't bring it with me because I couldn't find it. Um, I don't know why. It's it should, not where it should be. But it's a cool little um, uh, grappling hook that just attaches to either hand. And uh, the way this grappling hook works is you take the grappling hook, you can attach it to, say, a small little pipe or, you know, your, you know another figure. And there's just a thing on the back, and you pull it, and he just kind of goes up. So nothing, it's nothing that he actually uses in the movie, um, even though it has his little color scheme here but it's still a nice little accessory i would have preferred him to have a blaster uh because in the movie he does use a blaster but um still not bad at least he comes with an accessory so there you have it uh k2so from the star wars rogue one action figure line uh these things uh, hit the store uh, back in November for four, or uh, yeah, back in November for Force Friday, uh, he was pretty easy to find up until the movie came out. Around here, anyway, I have had issues finding him since the movie came out. I actually found uh, one of them at a Target in Springfield, uh, and I found just happened to find another one, the last one at our local Walmart, and I haven't seen any since. So if you can find him, that's awesome. He's definitely a great figure to add. I'll tell you now, he's definitely, out of all of the figures, Star Wars figures I own, he's one of my favorites. Um, so uh, these retail roughly for around $7 or $8. Uh, not bad for, you know, a pretty cool figure like this. So if you could find him, great. Happy hunting. And I'll see you next time. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.